Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here today to do the hashtag Color Combo 2023 with you guys. Um, this challenge is hosted by Tammy at Lou for Fru Studios, and there will be a link to her YouTube channel in the description box below this video. So she each month does um, a color study, and so this month the color study is green. So we're doing all different types of ephemera using different shades of green with different, you know, like other colors. That's why it's a color combo, because you use one shade of green and then another color to make the combo. So this week the colors are moss and leaf green. So um, yeah, this is, was a little challenging just because sometimes it's really hard to tell like what might be considered leaf green or moss green. <laughs> I mean, I kind of know, but you know, you get into the olives and the, uh, I don't know. So anyways, I did my best. I did find, and I know I've been using a ton of these envelopes and you're probably sick and tired of seeing them, but just know you can also use, um, let's see, you can also use just your regular um, envelopes that you might have at home, junk mail envelopes, whatever, and you can cover them. I'm gonna end up covering a lot of this. The reason I chose this one was because of these green stamps. So that's kind of what I was after. But um, yeah, you don't have to have these old ones. I just got lucky and um, I have them. I have strengthened the inside by putting book page on either side just to, you know, I am gonna be slipping something in and out of there and I just thought that would strengthen it. Plus I added another piece of book page, folded over the edge and then some of my old looking tape because it's just, it's new scotch tape that I put um, alcohol ink on in caramel and it's the Ranger alcohol ink in caramel, okay? So we're gonna add, I am thinking this is kind of leaf green but there are some mossy tones or olivey tones in there. So um, I, you just, we're just gonna take it the way it is. <laughs> And then I just have an old piece of typewritten letter and then a piece of music paper that I would consider a very light, mossy type color, green color. And then I also have this little piece scrap that has mossy tones in it. So I consider between this and this kind of leafy green, these are more mossy tones, I would say. <laughs> I could be wrong, but um, that's kind of what I came up with. So, how are y'all? Hope you're fantastic. I went for a walk. I feel good. I really like um, walking. So, I don't like any other exercise. <laughs> I like the way I feel after I exercise, but I don't love exercise. I just... It's like pulling teeth, but I do love walking. So that's usually my form of exercise. It's uh, not the best or the most, but it's better than nothing, right? That's how I look at it. I used to do, oh, I used to do treadmill and all kinds of things. I did um, Tybo and I, you know, I used to do loads of things when I was young. But got arthritis and just don't really love it anymore. So I try to stay as healthy as I can, but I'm sure I don't succeed entirely. All right, so we're gonna go kind of here with this. We're gonna put this one along there, that one kind of middle. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this one down entirely, but I wanna make a pocket out of these two. These two will get glued down entirely. So yeah, I hope you guys are feeling good. The weather is um, in and out sun, but it's not too bad out there. It was um, frost again this morning. So my poor daughter yesterday or last night, she was like, why is it snowing again? They get more snow than we do um, where she's at. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's not snowing here. We got, we got a thunderstorm and she got snow, so. Or, you know, we're not that far apart, or, you know, I don't know, it takes about 45 minutes, 40 minutes to get to her place, but anyway, it's just crazy snow, or I mean, crazy weather we're having all over the place, up, down, and all around, but yeah, we had thunder and lightning. 
which is really odd. We That's generally a summertime thing. <laughs> so I don't normally get that this time of the year. But you just never know on these spring days what you might get. Actually, I think I'm going to come down a little bit so you can see part of the writing up there. And I know some people consider this ruining the envelope, but I don't know what else to say. These were slated for the garbage can, so the fact that they aren't in a garbage can, I would say is pretty good. And it's not gonna last much longer because the paper's disintegrating, so I don't know. I've been getting a lot of that lately, and I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with um, old envelopes. Just put them in frames or what? I don't know. There's a lot of them. Let me just say. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't know what. I feel like at least if they go in a journal a little bit decorated, they're still, you know, part of them is still living on. So I feel good about it, but I don't know. I can't make all the people happy, I guess. So I'm thinking something about like that. And then this will be a pocket. So, oh, I don't really want to cover that much of the envelope or the, what is that thing? Stamp. <laughs> oh my gosh. So maybe more like that. So let's get these two stuck together. And I know people say, you know, people either get it or they don't. And that is so, so, so true. It just kind of makes me laugh because I don't know <laughs> what we're supposed to do with all this stuff. Like, just put it in a box forever. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. I mean, maybe. That is what we're supposed to do. I don't know. But anyhow... <laughs> I'm not doing that, so. All right. I'm gonna put a, a small-ish thumb notch just kind of right here above this, and it's probably not gonna be central to the card or anything like that, but I'm just looking to, oh, please. And I didn't. Ugh. I need to put another piece of paper with that and try a different one. That's the only thing that gets me sometimes with these circle punches. They're very finicky. Actually, I'm probably going to have to use that one. Let me see. Oh, no, I think I can get it. There we go. Okay. Kind of put it like that. Maybe a little down over a little more. So we can still see our 1954 over here, which is what I'm wanting. And then, you know, kind of a lot of the stamp as much as I can. So then I'm just going to go along here. Down the back edge. I'm not putting a huge tag or anything in there, so I'm not that worried about... Um, having, you know, a whole lot of space in there. I think I am just gonna kind of go like that. I know it's kind of some wasted space, but it's all right. Okay. So yeah, um, you could obviously do this on a um, guest check or whatever too, if you're, you know, sick and tired of the whole envelope thing. You could still do stuff like this on that. I keep finding stuff that I cut out ages ago from wherever <laughs> and um, never used. So I'm kind of going through some of the bags and stuff of stuff that I have cut already and trying to use up some of that. So I'm just going to tuck that little tag in there and I'll probably put something, some fabric or something on it. And then we're also going to do... So there is moss and leaf green, I hope. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, I know what else I want to do. I want to put this on there too. This is just those washi stickers. 
And this one's kind I mean, it's not really leaf green. Actually, I think I'll put it there. Um, but it's kind of mossy. I don't know, kind of olive-y. I'm just going to put it right here. Oh, I have a number two I wanted to put on there, I think. Number seven. I don't know why. It's just what I pulled out of my uh, number pouch. And these are my shop. And if for any reason you go there and don't see them, just let me know. Because sometimes... Um, I sell out of them. They're never really sold out. It's just I might not have any cut. I just need to cut some. So you just tell me. I just sometimes get um like late like this week I've been doing a lot of the um slides and things and frames and or um clips and things. And the stencils, so I haven't done a whole lot of the numbers, but I think I have. I think there's still some in the shop. Okay. And then I just have, this is just collage masterboard. And I think I'm going to just put this in here. It may have to be cut down just a little. Yeah, I'm just going to trim a little off the bottom. It's not a big deal. That way I know it will fit. For sure. I need to do the corners. It's right in front of my nose. Yeah, my son is all the way up north, but he's, um, well, we're all kind of in the banana belt of Idaho, is what they call it. <laughs> so it just, we get snow and stuff, but it's a better area. We don't get as much of the snow and harsher weathers, and he's still part of that. So he's gotten more snow than we have, but not, not too bad. I don't even think he got snow yesterday. He likes it though because he likes the cold but the daughter don't <laughs> so these are just again they were in a bag of junk you know that I had cut out so we're gonna use them handsome handsome couple there she doesn't look super ecstatic but I know in um, Victorian photos they really didn't smile or anything though she's very pretty okay so that'll go there and then we may try to find a, a little other something in that book of stickers too I love artichokes one of my all-time favorite things to eat and they've gotten so expensive I never get them anymore like three dollars each it's like ay 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 I don't live in an area where we can grow them, which makes me sad. I wish I did. I'd like mow down my whole backyard and just put in artichokes if we could. <laughs> but they don't grow here. Too short of a growing season. Too cold. I don't know if this is, I think this is right, yeah. I didn't know if it was upside down or right side up. As is a problem with music sometimes, unless you really know what you're doing. OK. 
Okay, let's see what we can find in here. This little strip of paper right there came out of this. These papers that are at the back of it. Some good ones. I actually thought a piece of that would have been good, huh? Hmm. Well, let me see what else we got in here. All the pages are falling out, so every time you flip them, another page falls out. I like that old book right there. That's pretty cool. And I got these on Amazon. I said it, but just in case you're new, that's where this came from. This sticker book. I like it a lot. You go, girl. What's this say? I don't know. Can't read it. Vanilla bean. That might be kind of cool. From Madagascar. I have this green butterfly. Do I want it up here? It's kind of quite large. I don't know if I want that or not. Those birds are cute. That might be kind of cute. Don't know, it's kind of haphazard all over the place, but I like, I like it. It's eclectic. How's that? I didn't even check to see if it would fit. <laughs> like bumps right up to his head, so we're going to have to trim a little or fold it over. <laughs> I'll just trim it, I think good to check the size before you uh, get ready to stick it down but you know sorry little birdie alrighty there is our very grungy <laughs> that I love uh, piece for what did I say leaf green and moss green little ticket in here that I'll put something on just so it's or a ticket ticket tag so yeah I hope you guys like that and I hope you also will join in on um, Tammy's challenge each week it's very fun and I think you can jump in at any time I don't think it matters and you can do like a piece of ephemera or um, a collage or painting or whatever just the whole idea is just to use colors that we might not otherwise use especially in jour journaling we often end up um, just staying in the neutral area so it's kind of fun to use some other colors so I hope to see you guys soon and have a great weekend love ya bye bye